some point in time, the physical world needs to convert its information into the digital world. If that process of information conversion is not trustworthy, you're not solving the problem. So if there is human trafficking happening somewhere deep uh, upstream in, in the supply chain, and as you get that information of the provenance of the entire supply chain, but you realize that you can't trust the process of what factory is this product coming from or what fishery is this fish coming from, and that cannot be trusted, that information, then whether you have a blockchain or not, you're not solving any problem. That's number one. Second problem exists, as I said, of uniqueness. If the product that you're selling on the system is not unique, then some amount of gamification can happen, where I can sell a product that even if you can trace its history, I claim it's the product, but the one that I ship to you looks like that product, feels like that product, has every single property of that product, but is not exactly that product. And hence, you, you cannot have that verification going on which of course uniquely identifiable products can, right? Like diamonds, that for example, or digital products, titles, uh, home titles, or so on and so forth. That's the second problem. Number problem number three is what Dimitri talked about. Even if you can solve these problems, what about the unintended consequences, the game theory that this can create, which he showed in the case of, of the retailers of the diamond industry, that once you increase the provenance and you solve all these problems, you may actually create perverse incentives for people to take advantage of this traceability that you create. And counterintuitively, traceability can increase the amount of blood diamonds in the supply chain and not reduce them. That's the example that he showed, right? So that's the game theory. Even if you solve that, comes the problem that Philippe shared, which is adoption. How do you make sure that everybody gets on this? Because your system is only as good as everybody being on the system. Because even if one or two players are not in the supply chain, are not adopting the solution, then you lose out on the provenance and the traceability. So Ali, as you can see, what I've listed out is all the, pro and then the regulatory issues and the legal issues and on top of that. You have to solve all these kind of problems to then find a viable business case. Lo behold, we don't have too much blockchain adoption because these are very, very complex cases to solve. And there are very few examples where I see and feel that they can be solved. Uh, but as you can imagine, this is not easy to solve. And hence a blockchain for now is not getting the adoption that people in the beginning had hoped or, or talked about when they first talked about this, this technology.